Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of setting up your own private server for version 7.18 So today we have a lot lined up for the to-do list here First we're going to be adding a command shop So if you do shop 1, a shop opens um, Changing the starter items um, Joining a French chat when you log into the server I, And adding item bonuses and an item bonus packer um, server messages like this one, change those or edit those and stop this guy from moving around. Yeah, kind of annoying. So let's get started with the command shop first. So let's go ahead and lock out here and close our server. Oh, that was my client, the server there. Okay, now let's go to our server directory. Um, go to our search bar here, search for regular. Um, this will be your. Sorry, this will be your um, regular player still, and we have administrator as well. That's the administrator commands. Moderator. That's our moderator commands, and we have last but not least the owner commands. Uh, I'll sp explain more about this uh, later on in the series. So, if you want to. Uh, if you want to change the or add the command shops, just to find an empty spot here. Do if command brackets zero dot equals, and then your uh, command here. Let's do shop uh, one and your brackets, and you want to put uh, return true. That will be our our end here. All right. Now let's do shops handler. Dots, uh, not oh, open shop. Sorry, open shop player, and then the shop ID. Now, I'm not quite sure if we need an import here. We definitely need an import. Okay, go ahead and do import. Oops, import. Dot rs dot utils shops handler there we are go ahead and save that um, go ahead and compile your server now we should have our command for the shop we just created the last episode you can of course add more shops uh, the same way with more items and so on I'll show you uh, these tools in a bit um, just how to use them and stuff Go ahead and run our server now. Oops. And our clients. I like to minimize these. Just we clear up some workspace here. Okay, here we are. Now go ahead and log into your accounts. Now we're going to use the command shops. You'll see your shop here. Oh, these are quite expensive. Uh, let's change these prices up a bit. I'll show the price it is a tool. Now go ahead and run your price editor. Guardian's price editor. Price guide, sorry. Go ahead and find your search for your ID. Then we are yellow party hat here. This is the price, so if you want to change this to maybe 1 million gold, go ahead and change the price to 1 million here. Uh, you don't need the, uh, the uh, dividers there. Um, there's 1 million gold for a yellow and 1 million for blue. Uh, let's change the noted, this will be the denoted item ID. We want this to be the same or lower than the unnoted one, otherwise. You can buy an item, note it, and sell it for more. So, now next time we reboot our server, we will have um, our prices set for our party hats. So, exactly what we want. So, now let's go to the item bonuses. Um, let me spawn in a party hat for me. There we are. Beautiful. 
So if you want to add stats to this one, we have zero stats right now. So uh, in the uh, server I provided with you, the uh, package here, uh, you have the bonuses one here. And now what you want to do is go to data, items and bonuses. Delete this one and drag in the library here. You'll have all your bo bonuses uh, here. And the ones you don't see, I'll explain in a bit. But first we need to make our bonus packer. Okay, so now what you want to do is create a new text document and call it... Uh, uh, this one doesn't mind. Uh, yeah. And now you want to paste this. I'll leave this in the description. So uh, just copy and paste that into a document here. So now it's uh, it's searching for the uh, the item item bonus packer. Uh, go ahead and save this. Oh, save as uh, item bonuses packer dot bat and to all files. There we go. Now you can re remove this one. Okay, so now go to your source. Um, find the utility no tools here. So guys, and uh, you will probably have a item bonus pack already, but let's go ahead and delete that one. That doesn't work, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I implemented one in the server package here. Just drag and up, drop this into there. Now we can get start to work here. Go to your bonuses. I don't believe this one for the party had uh, 1040. No. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste that one in. A fresh one. Find that real quick. There we are. Go ahead and rename that to your item ID. This is important, your item ID here. 1040. That will be the ID for my, oh, my, my fancy party head here. So, now go ahead and open your file here. Um, let me go to uh, the equipment interface real quick. So, what you see here is the attack bonuses, and the defense, defense and other bonuses. So if you want to make this party head go super strong, let's go ahead and change this to 500. Your step and your your range and magic as well and go to our defense bonuses mm, let's go the let's go the magic uh, defense to be insanely high and our strength uh, yeah we want a bit of strength uh, oops okay go ahead and save this um, as you can see there's no stats right now but that will change so now go to your directory here and item bonus packer, pack your items. There we are, packed our items. Brilliant. Now go ahead and log out of your client and reopen your server. Okay, here we are with my party hat on. Let's go ahead and check our stats of this party hat. Oh shit. We're looking strong. We're looking very strong. Okay, so that's... Uh, I only implement this because I remember when I made the miser I had... Uh, it took me weeks to figure out how, how I edited the bonuses. I went on every forum there is and I didn't find anything. So... Well, what I found didn't work, so... I thought I'll just help you out a bit here. So now, now what we want? Oh yeah, the, the party prices are fixed now. As you remember, we changed that. Um, so now, if we want to, uh, if we want to join a French chat when we log in, uh, go ahead and make one. 
Oops, that's the wrong one. Click this setting sign here. Chat name. Uh, let's name it help. Who can join? Anyone. Who can talk? Anyone. Who can kick? Uh, yeah, just me. I'm gonna set that up. Now join our own server here. You see? Okay, so now we're going to. Uh, let's just log out. We don't need this anymore. And this as well. Now in your directory here, go search for player. As I said, guys, this is just if you're going to quick, just uh, just pause the video and rewatch it if you, you don't understand. And if you are completely lost, just shoot me in an, uh, a message. Uh, I'll leave my Skype in the uh, description. Um, now, what you want to do is go to search and search for uh, last IP. Go ahead and search and click next. So here we are. Below this one, you want to add French chat manager dot join chat and join the uh, the username. That will be developments in my case, and then do uh, comma this a bracket there so now you should uh, join the French chat uh, when you log in so let's go and save that every new player that logs in joins the French chat automatically um, so go ahead and close all of that and compile your your server There we are. So I'm going to run your server. Let's create a new user. Uh, uh, we'll change that later. So let's go ahead and check our French chat. We are in the talking and chat help, and this is the owner of the chat. So it worked. That's brilliant. I'm going to log into my account here. Uh, if you want to remove this, I'll show you uh, later on the, in the video, in the last part, if you want to remove it. But for now, we want to change the. If you want to change the server messages, that pops up like uh, uh, news. So we have new bosses. Um, go ahead and go to your directory and go to to player main.java you can also just search for it but here um, now this is where you see the news latest news don't forget to vote for extra items uh, uh, I like party hats this is just a test you can add everything you want basically here um, hello you can also remove all of these if you don't want them just remember to remove this then the last uh, dialogue here, or message, don't have to have this, otherwise you will get an error. So this one have to have it, but that one don't. So here, I'm getting right into a game. No, fuck yes, it's gay. There. Okay, so that was a quick little thing. If you just want to change that. Um, so now, if you want to change the start to items, uh, we will need a new compiler because for some reason this doesn't quite compile the start to items. So uh, name doesn't matter, but so now. Um, I'll I'll paste this code in the uh, description as well. Just remember to change your JDK. I'll save that. That will go to the path here. Your source, RS game, player, content, custom. That'll combine all the custom items. So let's go ahead and find that path. Game. Player. 
content and custom here are custom things here um, we have a, a java file called starter items go ahead and edit that one um, so here we, are. we have the class fighter, we have the class archer, we have the class magician so now these items will be added to all of the classes uh, for instance let's add a I uh, like party hats today, I don't know why. Just add a party hat to the items here. Uh, yeah, you can change the items here if you want. That's basically up to you. That's This is the player.getInventory method. So you will add an item to your inventory. And you want to add the item ID and amount, as it says here. So, this is for the archer, this is for the fighter, and this is for the... Uh, Magician. All the items uh, here. That was a, another quick thing, but I don't know why you want the. Uh, did I even save that? Oh, yeah, you have to save this as a bad file, of course. I forgot that. Um, dot bat all files selected and save you can delete that one you want to compile your stats items there will be a very quick compile or not I don't know there we are that will change our now yeah. I like party hats now another quick thing or it takes some getting used to the tools, but if you want this NPC to stop walking around, mm, we can examine him. We can find the ID here, 522. Now, let's go ahead and close our client and our server now. And we want to open our the package here, go to our tools, and go to our cache editor. Um, open our frosty cache editor here and load our cache now you want to find your your cache here in desktop and mine is with mine rune evo re 3 the client or the directory here go to your data and the cache just go ahead and open that now we want to change the npcs for now submit that don't worry about this for now um, go and find your NPC ID. For now, that will be 522, I believe. Here we are. Uh, go ahead and press edit on that one. <coughs> you can change the name of the NPC, you can change the combat level, the size. Uh, bit of a difficult ones here, but the walk mask. Let's do zero on that one. Uh, that's your model. Uh, just you don't really, really need this. Here you can change the options. Uh, yeah, but for now just walk mask zero, safe. <coughs> but then you don't need to compile when you're editing, editing your cache. But what you do need is uh, you need to restart your client when you are working with your cache. Otherwise it won't work. Um, so, uh, he's not moving anymore. Here, he's just stoned now. I don't know why it says minus one. I I don't know about that. Um, yeah, but he doesn't move now. That's a good thing. Okay, so in the next episode, I'll get. Uh, I'll show you how to change the. Um, the background here, and I'll show you how to change your your crown here. A bit of uh, cash works still. Um, yeah, and uh, a few more little things here and there that might be useful. So see you next time.